We've got basketball action at Quicken Loans Arena in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. The home of the Cavaliers, live on 2K Sports. It's the NBA, and it's live right here on 2K Sports. Along with Greg Anthony and Doris Burt, I'm Kevin Harlan. David Aldridge, our sideline reporter. It'll be the Knicks off the tip. And now the New York Knicks starters. They've got Ennis Cantor, the out there with Porzingis. Then there's Ramon Sessions. And it's Hardaway in the shooting guard position. And watching Porzingis play, you, you know, you forget how tall he really is in terms of how he moves. You know, not only how quick he is, but also that skill set. It, incredible that a player his size won the skills competition in last year's All-Star festivities. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Rose again. Sessions to the wing right side. A second chance effort. And Persingas with the lay-in. Persingas has got the first points up on the board here for the Knicks. This is where people get excited about Porzingis. Yes, he's got finesse, but he's not afraid to get in there and trade some elbows. Go ahead, big fella. And the shot is good. And that is what fools a lot of NBA fans about Porzingis. Most of the highlights, Greg, to see are his blocks and putback dunks. But if you watch his game, you see that skill level. It's rare to see a player who's the complete package like Porzingis. I mean, he's fluid. He's got the easy-looking shot. It, it almost looks like he's a guard shooting the basketball, comfortable creating for himself or playing off of it. That one misses, so he goes one for two. And Tim Hardaway Jr., the son of a former all-star point guard, Junior, not maybe the same ball handler his father was, but he can sure fill it up. And I really feel like he's established his niche in the NBA. Here's Love. Trying to get open is Crowder. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. That's exactly where you want him to be, guys. Love operating so close to the rim, so gifted inside. Crowder kicks to Smith. And here's Rose outside. Cleveland moving it around. No one near James as he lets it go. And he's good on the three ball. Remarkable catch and shoot sequence right there from LeBron. Just a killer instinct whenever he gets the ball. They get the rebound. Cantor. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Oh, easy put back. No one got a body on Boy, I'll tell you, Greg, that's just inexcusable. All they had to do was box him out. But you learn a lesson the hard way in that instance. And Hardaway Jr., a 6'6 shooting guard out of Michigan. Talk about his game a little bit for us, Greg. And why is where he is? Uh, above average in terms of his athletic ability. Improving defensively. And right now, he's playing off the ball, whether spotting up or, or filling the lane. I, I think this guy's got a chance to be special. He's passionate, and boy, does he compete. Crowder kicks to Rose. Misses in close. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. No one near Sessions as he lets it fly. Yes, and it's Hardaway picking up the assist. Oh, a good open look, and he sprays it home from three. Stolen by Cantor. Sessions passes to Persingas. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Love outside. Smith dishes to LeBron. 
Five on the clock to stop the run. And Cancer pulls it down. Down low. Out to Sessions. Out of bounds. Cleveland takes possession. Well, he's obviously anticipating different movement there. And instead of an easy connection, the pass sails straight into the front row. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Shannon Fries checked in for luck. Green comes in for Jake Crowder. Kyle Corford is checked in for James. And Dwayne Wade is subbed in for J.R. Smith. Green with the block. And they're able to recover. And he banks in the layup. And, and loving the hustle here early. I mean, they struck first on the offensive glass. And as he's tried to preserve his body to play a complete season, Rose has begun to lean more on that outside jumper. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. O'Quinn's got his second bucket. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. On his first quarter of play, we've seen plenty of offense so far. Knicks lead by two. And we'll get the second quarter underway. And the second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. And of course, what an honor. Inducted into your college's Hall of Fame. Something not many of us can say. What does that kind of uh, honor do for the confidence for you personally going forward? You know what? Providence College is a place that means a great deal to me. So what that Hall of Fame induction did was just remind me of all the special memories that I shared with my teammates. I'm close with many of them today. And Kevin, you know this. You know, if you've ever been inside a locker room, it's those moments when you're laughing until your stomach hurts. I'd say we were the Hall of Fame fun team. That's what I'd say. <laughs> I think we're on the fun team here on 2K. <laughs> In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And New York, looking at who they've got. We've got Neil Aquina. McDermott is up there with Baker. Then there's Kyle O'Quinn. And it's Kuzminskis in at the power forwards position. And Green's defense, very important to this team's success. The way he gets up in the face of whoever he's guarding, it becomes infectious to the rest of his guys. Pass to Neil Aquina. And count it. He'll head to the line with a chance to make it three. They are just killing him on the interior. Frank Nielakina out of France, played pro ball in Germany, and a lot of fans in the U.S. might not be as familiar with him, but for NBA execs and scouts, that's their job. Nielakina has a game worthy of their attention. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And the foul on Derek Rose. That's his first foul. And New York making a change here. Beasley's checked in. That'll be a five-second call. Miscue there. Haven't had many of those so far, which is a big reason they're ahead. The Cavaliers trail by five. Rose kicks to Wayne. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Here's Neela Kina. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Alder. Guys, the league may have never seen a player with more control on and off the court than LeBron James. He is a superstar, a playmaker, a coach on the floor. Some say he's the GM. He even has a stake in a player agent business. The 
LeBron says it's his dream to one day own an NBA team. Well, he's certainly getting some practice. Kevin? No question about it, David. He's well on his way. Well, as important a player as we've ever seen in basketball. And the Cavaliers making a change here. James has checked in. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Cavaliers. And LeBron James putting a lot of pressure on the Cavs to surround him with the talent to compete. Doris, yet right at the draft and start a free agency. The team going in a new direction in the front office. Right, you're talking about a case of bad timing. Stars like Paul George and Jimmy Butler changing teams. You have to question the thinking to allow that front office turmoil at such a critical juncture. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. And Michael Beasley picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Kevin Love's checked in for Cleveland. Crowder comes in for Jeff Green. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Hardaway's checked in for Baker. Yeah, whacking James like the D does there is the right move. I mean, especially when you consider how strong he is. This is his first free throw of the game. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. J.R. Smith's checked in for the Cavaliers. Ennis Canner's checked in for the Knicks. Lee comes in for Kuzminskis. You know, rough start for him, but he seems to have turned the corner here in the second period. Another shot. And Cantor pulls it down. Cantor's got three rebounds now in this one. He's obviously still trying to find the range. No success this quarter. You wonder what it would take to get him to pass the ball. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Hardaway. Sessions checked in for New York. Love again. It's Cantor. Wade kicks to Love. The kick out to Crowder. Pass to Wade. Out of this is to James. Four on the shot clock. And it's out of bounds to the Cavaliers as Cleveland retains possession. Porzingis is checked in for Beasley. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. From 12 feet out. Love the pass to Crowder. And here's James outside. Gets the three-pointer to fall. James has got it back down to a single-digit deficit for Cleveland. Uh, Jay Crowder, such an efficient scorer, right, guys? I mean, this is one of the league's best finishers, especially for a guy 6'6". Near the three-point line, it's Wade. Crowder kicks to Smith. Crowder is green on me. And again, LeBron missing. And Doris, the three-pointer, a big part of Crowder's offensive game. Well, no doubt. He's gotten better and better from out there. When you're shooting around 40% from deep range, that's getting it done. Hits the three-point bomb. Well, he works to find the open space behind the arc, and it pays off with the three. Nice. James dishes to Smith. Wade left side. Feeds it to LeBron. Passes to Crowder. Shot clock at five. Shoots over Cantor. Back to Crowder. Fires from deep. That's in there. Love with the assist. Crowder's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. For New York, they have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. Yeah, and 79% from the line as a team a season ago. Pretty reliable in that regard. That one misses. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. LeBron, that's a two-pointer. The kick out to Rose. And he can't bank that one in. 
Maybe not that time, but he'll hit more than his share if he's left open. And so it's New York going into the break with a 10-point lead. And now the third quarter have to get going. Doris, many teams want to push the pace now. I know you like that. Some do it better than others. What's the key, and you've done this in college, to being successful with an up-tempo scheme? Well, I think obviously, one, you've got to have three tool players who are unselfish by nature. Three tool meaning once you catch the basketball, you are a triple threat. You can pass it, you can score it, you can dribble it. You're able to be a playmaker in every instance because once you allow people to spread the floor, and by that I mean the spacing is, you know, there are five guys spread out maybe beyond the three-point line, so the defenders are essentially on an island until a screen comes. You've got to be a triple threat on the catch to be successful in those pace and space systems. You've got to be able to shoot it too, Kev. That's the key. Smith is the two with LeBron at the three. Kevin Love out there with Jay Crow. And it's Rose in at point. That's the group starting the second half for Teron Lou. Terrific anticipation by him, and that's why he's out on the court. And, and guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. Yeah, you know, sometimes your gut tells you to take a shot at the pick and then big move to keep the pressure on. This is it to Crump. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Porzingis kicks to Hardaway. And the layup falls. And now it's a 10-point New York lead. You know, and that was a nice find by KP. Saw the open man. He was on time, on target with the pass. Perfect. It's good. Really like the energy I'm seeing from this offense. Three for four to open the third. Hardaway kicks to Porzingis. And the dunk by Porzingis. Time out, time out. How about the height and the length and Pardon? the athleticism of Kristaps Porzingis? Barely has to jump to throw that down. Timeout called Cleveland. Yeah, I think when you look at what Porzingis can do on the offensive end of the floor, you see why he is so dangerous, right? He's got a great perimeter shot. He's got unbelievable size and a great release point. And he has good control over the basketball, can put it on the deck and create for himself or his teammates. That's a lot to offer. Channing Fries checked in for Cleveland. Corver comes in for Smith. And then for New York. Kyle O'Quinn is checked in for Ennis Cantor. And it's Neil Aquina in for Sessions. It's stolen by Corver. Kicks to Crump. Rose passes to Fry. Rose dishes to James. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. And that's 13 points for LeBron. And Porzingis, who is well on his way to being one of the bigger stars in the NBA. You know, Doris, he handled the ball well as he won the skills competition. You saw it at the 2017 All-Star game. Yeah, and I think if you were watching the Knicks during the regular season, it didn't surprise you. Porzingis is a guy who knows how to get some space with his jab step and his dribbling ability. His vision is improving, and to me, it looks like he has the ability to be an elite playmaking big at some point. The shot's good from Nilekina. Boy, excellent start to the second half. They've missed just once in five attempts. The kick out to Rose. Another three for Cleveland. The defense a step slow. You can see the result. Here's Lee. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Knicks lead by five. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Corver kicks to James. The kick out to Crowder. Cleveland moving the ball around. Stolen. And a fast break now for New York. 
And the dunk by Porzingis. I tell you, Neil Aquina has his head on a swivel, always looking to find the open teammate. The kick out to Crowder. Porzingis comes with the double team. And the wide open shot from Rose. Offline with his three. Boy, the way he's been going, he is not going to be the guy to turn this around. By the way, no good. The Cavaliers trail by seven. And James gets it to go on the assist by Corbett. And that's 15 points for LeBron. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Love's check in for Fry. Green comes in for Jay Crowder. Smith checked in for James. And Dwayne Wade subbed in for Rose. So New York going with almost an entire new group. Kuzminskis, he's checked in for Kyle O'Quinn. Beasley comes in for Perzingis. Doug McDermott, he's checked in for Courtney Lee. And it's Baker in for Hardaway. There's Green with the three. That falls. Nice speed that time from Dwayne Wade. Now just a two-point mix lead. They set the pick. Neil Aquina can't hit. Yeah, blown opportunity after the two-man game creates a terrific look. Well, he simply misfired. I mean, you've got to capitalize when the screen opens up wide open shots like that. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Six on the shot clock. Corver gets a wide open look for the lead. Out to Smith. And the miss. And as we conclude the third quarter, what a game. Neither team giving ground. New York ahead. They lead by two. It's the NBA on. And we're set to start the action up here in the fourth quarter. And if it's anything like the first three, we should be in for a The Knicks with the lead. On the court for the Knicks. They've got McDermott. Baker out there with Ramon Sessions. Then it's Ennis Cantor. And it's Kuzminskas in at the foresaw. Forward. Kicks to Wade. Outside, Green. And there's the pass to Corver. Corver missing again. New York shooting a smooth 58% from the field. Everything going according to plan for them on that end. Cavaliers shoot being at 36%. They really seem out of sync offensively. And here's Green outside. Outside Corver. Lets it go with a three. Smith kicks to Corver. The feet to Green. Back to Corver. Three pointer. Outside Green. Back to Smith. Cleveland the rebound. Love kicks to Green. But they recover it. Wow, just getting all the luck right now, it seems. Good bounce. Time out, time out. And since halftime, they have been locked and loaded from beyond. Yeah, there's no question about it. Knocking down triples repeatedly. The defense starting to look helpless at this point. Derek Rose is checked in for Kyle Corbin. And then for New York. Courtney Lee, he's checked in for Doug McDermott. Hardaway is subbed in for Baker. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Alder. Hey, Kevin. Well, here's the summary of what Jeff Hornacek went over with his guys during the break. This is still a close game, and he told his guys, we're not far away. We can still get this one. If we seize the moment, we can walk away with the win. Guys. Thank you, David. I'll tell you, with the struggle he has had today, he probably won't be their number one option as they look to close this game out. Here's Hardaway. Lee kicks to Kuzminskis. Hardaway from outside. 
Lee with the steal. Rose against Sessions. Over Rose. Here's Cantor. And the rejection by Love. Here's Rose. Good is Green picking up the assist. Rose has got it all tied up now for Cleveland. Boy, in the second half, just hitting a much higher percentage of his shots. Really looks composed now. Love the pass to Wade. And right through it goes. Wade's got five points now this quarter. That right, guy's not sure how many big men could have found that open man that quick. Great play from Kevin Love there. Free throw good. Sessions. A different look now for Cleveland. Crowder, he's checking for Green. And James subbed in for Smith. Zinkis, he's checked in for New York. Outside Crowder. There's the dish to Rose. Rose with another miss. New York's gone into a funk from downtown. The fourth only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. And Sessions kicks to Porzingis. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. Well, one thing we know, Porzingis is fearless. He had no hesitation on what was a huge basket for them. LeBron wishes the way. Pulls up. James. It is good. James has got nine points now in just the second half. Well, should any of us be surprised if they need a bucket? LeBron says, get me the ball and delivers once again. Here's Persingas. Here's Cantor. Out to Lee. And Jan shot. And another shot. Well, Crowder known for his defense, and you'd love to see him get high for these rejections. Fearless, decisive, on point. Which is exactly what you have to be, especially when your team needs a bucket. Singers pass possessions. On the wing, hard away. by five. Pass to Crowder. He dishes it to Love. No good with the triple. Cantor kicks to Perzingis. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Outside Hardaway. Over Smith. But they'll get another chance. So it's a narrow win for the Cavaliers pulling it out. That was a fun night of basketball. Fabulous finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to see it. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast.